Super duper! Right on! Neato, gang! Good morning, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton, and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Project Zomboid. Oh my goodness. It's been quite a while since I've uh, booted this old thing up. But that's alright. We're gonna do some stuff today. I kinda wanna get out of town. Holy shit! Get out of town, but first I gotta clean. Do some spring cleaning. Where the fuck did these guys come from? Do they just spawn in here? I don't think they should spawn behind the gates. That's not good. Hmm, no broken doors or anything. I don't understand. This room would be the culprit. But, uh, yeah. I don't think they came in through there. Well, I'll have to bury some of those bodies, but maybe a little bit later. I don't feel like digging holes today. Digging a hole, hole. You remember that movie? Remember that movie? It's called Holes. They got Shia LaBeouf in there. Uh, I also need some foods. So, let's head down to the al that old mini stop. Grocery store, whatever the hell it is. I'm gonna eat some chimps. Yeah, boy. Oh, it's just so delicious. Ruffles, let me tell you. Super cheap in the Philippines. Like in, in the US, you're gonna pay like three dollars for a bag. Maybe three fifty. Here it's like a buck forty. Holy shit, it's so good. So uh that's how that's how you get fat. <laughs> eat like an American. And in the Philippines you can uh, actually afford to eat as as much as you like. So you actually gotta have some self control. Which, uh, I've not been doing great with that lately. I'll tell you that much. Pants, feeling a little bit tighter. Makes me feel kind of bad for little Dayton. But, you know, it, it, it be what it be. It's alright. He's gonna live, I'm gonna live. I'm gonna live a little better than he is. But, uh, that's just how it goes. Not everybody can have everything. You know what I mean? Unless we're communists. <laughs> just kidding. I wouldn't wish that on anybody. There seems to be quite a few zombies hanging around. I don't know what's up with all this. I'm gonna run out of, uh... Run out of stamina in no time. What's it called? Fatigue, yeah. I don't want my fatigue to get up there. Have we explored this little lumber yard? Hmm, I think we have. And I said, hey, I'm disappointed I can't pick these bricks up. I got a bunch of pallets that I can't move. That kind of sucks. So uh, I want to go explore in this region because I haven't really yet. We've been uh, going down this way, but I haven't gone up this way so much. So we'll see what we can do. What shall I do today? I also want to build some uh, like cabinets and stuff. So that all my shit is not just laying on the floor of the hotel room. But, uh, that's kind of okay. Like I said, I don't plan to stay here forever. I'd really like the cars to be implemented. I'm sure I say that about every time I record. But, um, I'm still waiting. Still waiting. Got all this gas, ain't got nothing to do with it. It's so sad when that happens. Hmm, this is that Spiffos? Spiffo Burgers! Well, whatever. I'll just level up this blunt accuracy. Smoke a blunt. Oh boy. What you, what you guys doing out here? Having a good time? No loitering. No loitering! How many times I told you? Let. Have let. Hehe. <laughs> I ain't scared of nobody now. My blunt accuracy too strong. We too strong! Hey, here's some more chips. Mmm. I think it's nice that zombies drop stuff. I remember in the beginning, zombies didn't really drop anything. They were just kind of like a waste of your resources. But now you can level up your skills and whatnot. Oh yes. It's quite nice. Mmm, I've got so much carpentry skill. Oh, I remember this gas station vaguely. Yeah, I think we've been here before. Indeed. Well, what happens if we continue on past it? What happens if we just keep going? Can we do some sneaking? Oh, yeah, level that sneak. 
They can't even see me. Oh, look at me. I'm like John Cena. Jeez, there's a lot of zombies out here. That makes me a little bit uncomfortable. But you know what? They gotta live too. I assume they gotta eat too, but I'm not gonna be a part of that. You ain't gonna get me. Not today. No, sir. Oh, another burger shack. Super. Super sweet, bro. Oh, boy. Gotta watch out. Gotta watch out. We've got uh, quite, a, quite a following here. It's not exactly 1,100 subscribers, but it's enough... It's enough to make me nervous. <laughs> nervous about the things that I say. No, just kidding. I've never been nervous about those things. They're like, hey, Dayton, we're going to get you fired from your job. And I'm like, good luck. Good luck. Oh, boy. I thought I was going to bat all three of those bitches. I did not. This is not going well. I'll see you later. Bye. Hopefully I can just duck them. They'll get lost in the woods, and I'll be home free to go in the burger shack. I do hear some pounding. I don't think it's in this this building, though. We have a, a sit, a little sit down on the toilet. I think that would be really nice. All right, I'm gonna get rid of some uh, some fatigue here. There's a guy pounding on that door. So I'm gonna try not to fast forward like too fast, <laughs> lest he break the door down. I want to be able to re react in time. Cause he'll zip over here. But they're like, "Hey, how's it going?" Oh, and now it's raining. The adventure might come to a, a short end, but I don't want to just hang out in the burger shack. Oh, let's let's hang out in here for just a second while I dig out my rain poncho. There it is. This will keep me safe. Rotten burger, rotten cheese. Processed cheese is also rotten. How does that happen? I didn't think that was possible. Got a sponge, a little bit of mustard, dead mouse. There ain't shit in here. Ain't shit in here for me, Bo. Oh, this is where they keep the good stuff in the back. Hell yeah. Well, it's not great. But it's something. I'm going to eat this MRE. That's what I'm going to do. They didn't have any ready, ready-made burgers for me. They got pineapple soda, pineapples, grape popsicles, donuts. Mmm. That all looks pretty good. Tomato juice. It ain't even that rotten. We've been at this for a long time, and it ain't even that rotten. Hey, get away from there. You shouldn't be over here. How many times I told you? Is this where that other zombie was? It's like a workshop or something. Oh, fishing, uh... Fishing shack. Probably got some bait. Nope. They do have a, a refrigerator, which is where I assume there would be like night crawlers and stuff like that. But that ain't how it is. Not right now. Maybe later. Here's a wooden crate. Why not? Save me from cutting the tree down, I guess. Save the trees! The Lorax said. He also said, please buy a Hyundai Sonata. <laughs> yeah, they paid me money for this. That's fine. This is all normal. Well, there seems to be a bunch of stuff on this path over here. So I'm tempted to just keep going down it. Checking through the houses. Looking for some bullshit. I've already got plenty of bullshit. Should probably head back home. But I don't want to until I learn how to make a, uh, a tent. I gotta practice pitching a tent. Hmm, duct tape. Yeah, I like that. Wood glue, I like that. Wire... Should have some twine in here somewhere now. A little bit of twine for the Dayton do. I suppose not. That's also uh, another thing I need to add to my my mental checklist. Advanced foraging, yeah. 
I ain't foraged in quite a little while. Hmm. Not much in here. Wow. There's jack shit as far as uh, the cabinets go. Mom, what do we have to eat? I don't know. You, you want a rubber band? Mom, you're the worst. <laughs> you, you, you're just the worst. Alright, let's cook a steak. It's gonna be good. Freezing time. Cooking time. Cooking time in the city. Oh, it's a little burnt. Oh, crap. Well, I ain't eating that. <laughs> I did a bad thing. I made a dumb. Oh, a broken window in this house. Let's proceed with caution. Hey, it's you. It's you, isn't it? I knew it was you. Good old friend of mine. He's not really a friend. I don't even know him. We didn't even live in the same city. What the fuck? Give me your money. Bitch better have my money. My money. My money. Say bitch better have my money. He does. Don't worry. I want to play the piano. That would at least bring me a little bit of joy. That would be a nice thing to add. Like, hey, you can play the piano, but you might attract zombies. Worth it. I don't care. I think I care. I don't. There's a big house over here. I don't think I've been to any of these houses. Hmm. Chairs outside? You guys are crazy. Hey, man. You crazy, man. I like you, man. You got style, man. I'm, I'm actually a woman? Whatever, man. Same thing, bro. In these days and times? Yes, it is. It is indeed. Bag of pumpkin seeds. Mmm. I'm just liking all these salty treats that I'm finding today. Oh, yes. Salty treats indeed. Hmm. I don't really even need food. Food is so plentiful unless you're playing with like a shit ton of people. I don't have to worry none. I'll be able to find some food. If it gets to the point where I've eaten all the food, uh, then we basically won the game. We win! We won the game, everyone! Well, not much in here, I don't think. I should do some foraging. Oh my god. Hop over the railing? That's kind of strange. Please close the door. There you go. Good job. Super. Super duper. Right on. Neato, gang. Hmm. Empty gas cans. What else? What other treats might you hold? A lot of these houses look the same. It's like they're all built in one giant housing tract, you know? They're like, hey everybody, do you want to buy a house that looks exactly the same as your neighbor's house? You guys can't get jealous of each other if that's the case. Whoa, Toy Panda. Don't know if I have one, but if I do, I want another one. Pandas are super cool. Everybody likes a panda. And if you don't, you're not a human. There's a pistol in here, but I don't trust generic pistol. Probably gonna end up exploding in my fucking hands. Now what am I gonna do if I have no hands, huh? I can wield the uh, baseball bat, but I can't carry around my doctor's bag at the same time. That's trouble. That's trouble, I'm gonna tell you right now. I mean, it would probably be fine, but... I don't want it to happen. I like having the extra carry weight and stuff like that. So I can run around, collect all this shit that I probably don't need. I don't need it, but I want it. You know, need is just a, a silly word. I don't need it right now, but what if I need it later? Right now I just kind of want it. But I might end up needing it. Someday. Someday. I should practice with a knife, too. 
I can be pretty badass. Don't you think? Don't you think you think? Alright, I got two duct tapes. Let's see if I can repair this bat just a little bit. Hmm. Nope. I have two duct tapes, you shit. I guess they need to be in my, my inventory. How's that? You happy now? There we go. Potentially repairs 4%. That's awful. That's the worst thing I've ever seen. Well, go ahead. Fuck it. Fuck it, that's why. It's doing nothing. I broke it more! Fucking duct tape. 85% chance of success my fucking foot! Whatever. Ah, repair fail! Repair fail all day! That's the saddest thing ever. Yeah, there is a lot of stuff up here. Why haven't we been up here before? Jiminy Christmas. Hey, there's another baseball bat. Speak of the devil. How you doing? Alright, throw this in the fucking cabinet. Oh, it's been repaired quite a little bit. That's probably why it failed, right? I repaired it too much. Now it's like, I don't know, dude. This shit's beyond my my comprehension. I don't know if we're going to be able to, to save it. That's alright. I don't need to save it. I can make another one from a fucking tree if I want. Do you understand me? I'm the king of this land. They'll all bow. Someday. Wouldn't that be funny if I just drank the bleach? Oh, God. That would uh be about the end. The end of the Project Zomboid. And I'd cry. I'd cry. It's been a good long time that we've been alive, but... I really do just want to push it to the limit. And, yeah. It's not out of early access yet, so there might be some... Some cool things that come through. I.e. cars. Ahem, ahem. Other survivors, like vendors and stuff like that. They've been talking about that for fucking years now. But that's alright. I'll wait around. I'll be patient. Eventually, they're fucking probably gonna run out of money. Their studio's like, oh, sorry we didn't get to finish the game, you guys. Well, everybody's gonna be upset if that's the case. Especially me. I'll be super disappointed. The baseball bat is in shit condition. Are they in this room? Hello? It's locked. Probably for good reason. I don't really want to fuck with it too much. Dog biscuit! Oh, I can't even eat it. Dog biscuits are good, though. It's just like a cookie, bro. You, you don't have to be all fucking crazy and grossed out with the little dog biscuit. It's kind of nice. I was trying to see if there was a, a window on the other side that I could climb into that locked room. But that seems not to be the case. I don't really want to use my axe to chop that door down because all that's behind there is a fucking zombie. So, uh, what, what do you really want with that? What's gonna be the deal if you, if you free the zombie? You think it's, you think it's a good idea? You think, you, you, you think that's gonna improve your life in some way? It's not. I'll tell you right now, it's not. I don't even know you, but I'll tell you, it's not. Some of you I do know. Some people stay very quiet, though. They'll just watch an episode and they're like, Huh, I have nothing to say about it. Goodbye. Which, I do that uh, pretty often as well on YouTube. But as a fellow content creator, it's generally good to say something so I can, uh... Put my face out there. Let people know that I exist. Hey, friend. Oh, well, look at this. We got a little church. Attention, uh, to my parish. I'd just like to say that despite the zombies outbreak, uh, we're all safe here. Oh, wait, there's nobody here but me. Okay, well, I guess, uh, we're not so safe. Sorry, guys. My B. My B, G. Look at this. 
angel statue. We could disassemble it with your strength stat. Let's try it. It's gonna be some fucking blasphemy. Blasphemy is happening! Oh shit. It's taking a little while, isn't it? Come on. Do it. Do it. Fucking... Oh. Oh. Now it's just a bunch of rocks. Make throwing rock. Okay. <laughs> throwing rocks. These rocks is good for throwing. 1.5? That's a, that's a hefty fucking rock. Dang. Do I need all of them? Probably not. Can I carry all of them? Seems so. We'll be fine. Throwing rocks. What's what's the difference? I used my hammer and I destroyed these these statues. This is crazy. This is crazy. Just crazy enough to work. That's what I'm saying. Ha ha ha. Alright, so now I'll fill my bags up with rocks, because that seems like a really smart idea. Oh my god. What are you doing, little Dayton? What are you doing with your life? Can you just answer me that? Tell me true? Jeez. Okay, so, uh, we're doing fine. There's another statue over there, but I'm going to leave that one standing, because there's no point to disassembling it. I disassembled it mostly out of curiosity, so, uh, I'm sorry, angel statues. My B, okay? My B. I wonder if there's anything else. Is that it? A few houses and a church up this way? Wah. I am disappoint. Well? Shit. I don't really want to go get lost in the woods, either. Ah, crap. Crap on a cracker. Oh, well. It was an interesting foray into a different part of town. But I still want to try out these throwing rocks. These rocks is good for throwing. I don't know how, uh, what was it, like a .9 weight rock turned into a 1.5 rock when I decided I wanted to throw it. Wow, that's super effective. It's super effective! But you're, you're missing completely. That's not how that's supposed to work. Alright, whatever. Throwing rocks are basically the worst weapon in the game. The worst thing I've ever experienced. Get these out. Pack these on... Oh, I was gonna put them on his body. I guess you could just put him on the ground, that's fine. Get all of this shit away from me. I do not want it anymore. Never again! Never again! Desecrate an angel statue to make a shitty pile of rocks that don't even hit zombies in the head. How hard is it to hit a zombie in the head with a rock? Come on! Come on now! Not much in here, it seems. A few nails. I'll always take that. A little bit of rope. Uh, I could make some more light posts and things like that. But I haven't been collecting the flashlights that I found. So maybe it ain't that good of an idea. Maybe if I follow the road, there will be a little something else. It is getting kind of late. It's five. Hmm, I could hold up at the church. Oh, that's the end of the road. End of the road, isn't it? Oh, shit! Man! Come on, man! I don't have any sheets. Well, I could make a little bit of a uh, boardy board. And patch some windows in the church. How many fucking windows does it have? That's another good question. I got a lot of questions. So many questions. Yeah, there's not much uh, to board up in here. We got two windows, so... 
I could probably just chop a tree down and that would be nice. Lay it down for the night. Read a little bit of my carpentry books and be satisfied with life. I mean, relatively satisfied. Not as satisfied as when we had the internet. God, I miss that. You remember that? Remember the internet? Yeah, I remember it. <laughs> I remember. We all member, okay? We all member Chewbacca. We all member C-3PO. We all member Chewbacca again. Um, let's put three planks on each window. Not gonna fill it up with four because what's the point? You don't really even need to. They can't see in here after you do three, right? I'm sure that's accurate. Yeah. Three is what it takes. And then four is just uh, a gratuity. That's good to know. It's good to note. Let's write that down, people. Excellent. Wonderful. I'm glad. Super glad that we're all taking instructions so well today. In these days and times. Let me tell you something, guys. I'm gonna read a little story. This is called Master Carpentry Book. Hooray! Everybody loves Master Carpentry. Especially me, because I'm now a Master Carpenter. I also want to, uh... Are we reading that book? You better be fucking reading that book. You better. You better? Yeah, it is. Okay. So let's see what we could do with our Master Carpentry. Hmm. Build a beehive. Brood box. Carpentry bench. Honeybee? Where? I guess you get that from scavenging. I need to be a little better at foraging. Rabbit hutch. Hmm. Chicken wire. I've seen that around. I haven't seen straw. Oh yeah, I think you get that from foraging as well. A toy horse. Make a wood block. Okay, great. We can make a baseball bat out of a log. You know what? I kind of want to do that. That would be a good practice of my carpentry skill, wouldn't it? And like here, you could craft a club too. What's the difference? What is the fucking difference? There's no stats. Doesn't show me anything. Crude bat. Piece of shit. Three planks, wood glue, and twine? What are you doing? What are you even doing? Come on. It's basically just a bunch of fucking bats. <laughs> Different bats. Crude bat. Club with wrench. <laughs> Club and duct tape a monkey wrench to it. <laughs> that takes carpentry skill. I'll tell you that. Tent pegs. Ten tent pegs and a homemade club. The tent pegs probably would do a little bit better than the fucking nails. I'll say that much. Herbalist table. Huh. Small clay jar? Where do I get that? Sawbuck. What is this for? What is, what is any of this? Spinning wheel. Can we make a wooden wheel? Make wooden... Barrel, bucket, crate, pallet, ring, toolbox, trough, vat, wash tub, wooden wheel. So first you need a wooden ring. Oh my god. It's so deep. It's so fucking deep. I don't even know what to do with this. But when I do decide to get around to it, we're going to have a max carpentry level. We're going to be getting, like, what is that? Times 20? Times 20 multiplier? Something crazy like that? Weld a weight bench? What the fuck? Then I can buff my strength, I bet. That would be so cool! Alright. Try out some crafting eventually. But for now, very tired, very hungry. Let's, let's have a little snack. A little snack with our carpentry book. All these ideas have been flowing around through my head, you know? It's interesting to me. I'm like, oh, I can make a, a wheel, but first I need to make a ring. See, I wasn't just reading that from the crafting window. My guy was having ideas from the carpentry book. So many ideas. All right, it's midnight. I was going to finish the book, but we're close enough. We'll finish it tomorrow. Anyways, friends, 
This has been Project Zomboid. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe. It always helps me, not just with morale, but also getting the channel out there, sharing the magic of Dayton Does and Project Zomboid with other people who might be interested. And we've also got links in the description. I've got Twitter, I've got Discord, I've got Patreon. I've got a whole bunch of stuff down there, although those three are where you can find me the most often. Once again, this has been Project Zomboid. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I hope you'll join us for the next one, friends. Stay tuned, and until the next time, bye bye One, two, three.